Chapter 23 He that is wounded in the stones, or hath his prior member cut off, shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. You into his tenth generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. You into their tenth generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord for you were. Because they met you not with bread and with water in the way when ye came forth out of Egypt. And because they hired against thee Balaam the son of Beer of Pether of Mesopotamia, who cursed thee. Nevertheless, the Lord thy God would not hearken Vento Balaam, but the Lord thy God turned the curse into a blessing Vento thee, because the Lord thy God lewed thee. Thou shalt not seek their peace, nor their prosperity all thy days for you were. Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite, for he is thy brother. Thou shalt not abhor an Egyptian, because thou waste a stranger in his land. The children that are begotten of them shall enter into the segregation of the Lord in their third generation. When the host goeth forth against thine enemies, then keep thee from Uri, wicked thing. If there be among you any man that is not clean, by reason of uncleanness that chanceth him by night, then shall he go abroad out of the camp. He shall not come within the camp. But it shall, when Yuning cometh on, he shall wash himself with water, and when the sun is down, he shall come into the camp again. Thou shalt how a place also without the camp, whither thou shalt go forth abroad. And thou shalt how a paddle fawn thy weapon, and it shall be when thou wilt ease thyself abroad, thou shalt dig therewith, and shalt turn back and core that which cometh from thee. For the Lord thy God walketh in the midst of thy camp, to do lure thee, and to do VP thine enemies before thee. Therefore shall thy camp be holy, that he see no clean thing in thee, and turn away from thee. Thou shalt not delure Vinto his master, the Saruin which is escaped from his master Vinto thee. He shall dwell with thee, you and among you, in that place which he shall choose, in one of thy gates where it liketh him best. Thou shalt not oppress him. There shall no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore, or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord thy God for any vow. For you and both these are abomination, vento the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not lend von Shuri to thy brother, Shuri of money, Shuri of victuals, Shuri of anything that is lent von Shuri. Unto a stranger thou mayest lend von Shuri. But Fento thy brother thou shalt not lend von Shuri, that the Lord thy God may bless thee, in all that thou settest thine hand to, in the land whither thou goest to possess it. When thou shalt vow a vow, Fento the Lord thy God, thou shalt not slack to pay it, for the Lord thy God will surely require it of thee, and it would be sin in thee. But if thou shalt forbear to vow, it shall be no sin in thee. That which is gone out of thy lips, Thou shalt keep and perform, you in a free will offering according as thou hast vowed Vento the Lord thy God, which thou hast promised with thy mouth. When thou comest into thy neighbor's uneared, then thou mayest eat grapes thy fill, at thine own pleasure, but thou shalt not put any in thy vessel. When thou comest into the standing corn of thy neighbor's, then thou mayest pluck the ears with thine hand, but thou shalt not moo a sickle Vento thy neighbor's standing corn. Chapter 24 When a man hath taken a wife and married her, and it come to pass say that she find no four in his eyes, because he hath found some flenness in her, then let him write her a bill of endorsement, and do it in her hand, and send her out of his house. And when she is departed out of his house, she may go and be another man's wife. And if the latter husband hate her, and write her a bill of endorsement, and doeth it in her hand, and sendeth her out of his house, or if the latter husband die, which took her to be his wife, her former husband, which sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife, 
After that she is defiled, for that is abomination before the Lord, and thou shalt not cause the land to sin, which the Lord thy God guideth thee for an inheritance. When a man hath taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war, neither shall he be charged with any business, but he shall be free at home one year, and shall cheer Vipi his wife which he hath taken. No man shall take the nether of the firm millstone to pledge, for he taketh a man's life to pledge. If a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel, and maketh merchandise of him, or selleth him, then that thief shall die, and thou shalt put you away from among you. Take heed in the plague of leprosy, that thou observe diligently, and do according to all that the priests the Lewits shall teach you, as I commanded them, so ye shall observe to do. Remember what the Lord thy God did vento Miriam by the way, after that ye were come forth out of Egypt. When thou dost lend thy brother anything, thou shalt not go into his house to fetch his pledge. Thou shalt stand abroad, and the man to whom thou dost lend shall bring out the pledge abroad unto thee. And if the man be poor, thou shalt not sleep with his pledge. In any case thou shalt delure him the pledge again when the sun goeth down, that he may sleep in his own remnant, and bless thee, and it shall be righteousness unto thee before the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not oppress an hired servant that is poor and needy, whether he be of thy brethren or of thy strangers that are in thy land within thy gates. At his day thou shalt chew him his hire, neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor, and setteth his heart upon it, lest he cry against thee vento the Lord, and it be sin vento thee. The father shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers, Yuri man shall be put to death for his own sin. Thou shalt not prove the judgment of the stranger, nor of the fathers, nor take a widow's remnant to pledge. But thou shalt remember that thou waste a bondman in Egypt, and the Lord thy God redeemed thee thence. Therefore I command thee to do this thing. When thou cuttest down thine heroist in thy field, and hast forgot a sheaf in the field, thou shalt not go again to fetch it. It shall for the stranger, for the fatherless and for the widow, that the Lord thy God may bless thee in all the work of thine hands. When thou beatest thine olu tree, thou shalt not go o'er the boughs again, it shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. When thou gatherest the grapes of thy vineyard, thou shalt not glean it afterward, it shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. And thou shalt remember that thou waste abundant in the land of Egypt, therefore I command thee to do this thing. Chapter 25 If there be a controversy between men, and they come unto judgment, that the judges may judge them, then they shall justify the righteous, and condemn the wicked. And it shall be, if the wicked man be worthy to be beaten, that the judge shall cause him to lie down, and to be beaten before his face, according to his fault by a certain number. Forty stripes he may do him, and not exceed, lest if he should exceed, and beat him about these with many stripes, then thy brother should seem vile unto thee. Thou shalt not muscle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. If brethren dwell together, and one of them die, and how no child, the wife of the dead shall not marry without. Vinto a stranger, her husband's brother shall go in vinto her, and take her to him to wife and perform the duty of an husband's brother unto her. And it shall be, that the firstborn which she beareth, shall succeed in the name of his brother which is dead, that his name be not put out of Israel. And if the man like not to take his brother's wife, then let his brother's wife go VP to the gate, unto the elders, and say, My husband's brother refuseth to raise VP unto his brother a name in Israel. He will not perform the duty of my husband's brother, then the elders of his city shall call him and speak unto him. And if he stand to it, and say, I like not to take her, then shall his brother's wife come unto him in the presence of the elders, and loose his shoe from off his foot, and spit in his face, and shall answer, and say, So shall it be done unto that man that will not build thee be his brother's house. And his name shall be called in Israel. 
the house of him that hath his shoes loosed. When men strive together one with another, and the wife of the one draweth near, for to deliver her husband out of the hand of him that smitteth him, and putteth forth her hand, and taketh him by the secrets. Then thou shalt cut off her hand, thine eye shall not pity her. Thou shalt not how in thy bag dyer's weights, a great, and a small. Thou shalt not how in thine house dyer's measures, a great, and a small. But thou shalt how a perfect and yest weight, a perfect and used measure shalt thou how that thy days may be lengthened in the land which the Lord thy God gaeth thee. For all that do such things, and all that dove righteously, are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Remember what Amalek did vento thee by the way, when ye were come forth out of Egypt. How he met thee by the way, and smote the hin most of thee, you and all that were feeble behind thee, when thou waste faint and weary, and he feared not God. Therefore it shall be when the Lord thy God hath you in thee rest from all thine enemies round about, in the land which the Lord thy God guideth thee for an inheritance to possess it, that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from Verhoeing, thou shalt not forget it. Chapter 26 And it shall be when thou art come in vento the land which the Lord giveth thee for an inheritance, and possessest it, and dwellest therein that thou shalt take of the first of all the fruit of the earth, which thou shalt bring of thy land that the Lord thy God guideth thee, and shalt put it in a basket, and shalt go vento the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name there. And thou shalt go vento the priest that shall be in those days, and say vento him, I profess this day vento the Lord thy God, that I am come vento the country which the Lord swear vento our fathers for to jayu versus and the priest shall take the basket out of thine hand, and set it down before the altar of the Lord thy God. And thou shalt speak and say before the Lord thy God, A Syrian ready to perish was my father, and he went down into Egypt, and soaring there with a few, and became there a nation, great, mighty, and populous. And the Egyptians yul entreated verses, and afflicted verses, and laid von verses hard bondage. And when we cried vento the Lord God of our fathers, the Lord heard our voice, and looked on our affliction, and our labor, and our oppression. And the Lord brought verses forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and with an outstretched arm, and with great terribleness, and with sickness, and with wonders. And he hath brought verses into this place, and hath you in verses this land, even a land that floweth with milk and honey. And now behold, I have brought the first fruits of the land, which thou, O Lord, hast you in me. And thou shalt set it before the Lord thy God, and worship before the Lord thy God, and thou shalt rejoice in your good thing, which the Lord thy God hath jewen vento thee, and vento thine house, thou, and the luet, and the stranger that is among you. When thou hast made an end of tithing all the tithes of thine increase, the third year, which is the year of tithing, and hast jewen it vento the luet, the stranger, the fatherless, and then the widow, that they may eat within thy gates, and be filled. Then thou shalt say before the Lord thy God, I have brought away the hallow things out of mine house, and also how jewen them vento the luet, and vento the stranger, to the fatherless, and to the widow. According to all thy commandments, which thou hast commanded me, I have not transgressed thy commandments, neither how I forgotten them. I have not eaten thereof in my morning, neither how I taken away aught thereof for any clean sea, nor drew in aught thereof for the dead, but I have hearkened to the voice of the Lord my God, and how done according to all that thou hast commanded me. Look down from thy holy habitation, from Hewin, and bless thy people Israel, and the land which thou hast drew in verses, as the swearest vent to our fathers, a land that floweth with milk and honey. This day the Lord thy God hath commanded thee to do these statutes and judgments. Thou shalt therefore keep and do them with all thine heart, and with all thy soul. Thou hast oached the Lord this day to be thy God, and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes, and his commandments, and his judgments, and to hearken vinto his voice. And the Lord hath ouched thee this day to be his peculiar people, as he hath promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments, 
and to make thee high above all nations which he hath made, in praise and in name, and in honor, and that thou mayest be an holy people until the Lord thy God, as he hath spoken.